Good morning, Wild Urban Adventures. We are here in Iowa right now. Such a beautiful sunrise. Just got a rod, few rods set up. Just launched about two minutes ago. It's a uh, real big lake, real big lake. I think it's a reservoir. I'm not exactly sure, but since I really can't travel fast far, I'm just gonna fish this North Shore area. We're in 15 feet of water. Should be a fun day, hopefully. But for now, I'm just gonna cast my three-way rig with my two flies. Let's see if we get lucky here. This is my first time here on the lake, so I don't even know what to use. Well, for a lake this big, there's gotta be fish here, so. I'll slowly make my way over to that point over there and hopefully we can slay some uh, some wipers oh, a really good way to tell what the bottom is just cast it out there and uh, let your let your weight hit the bottom and just slowly drag it especially if you have a sensitive sensitive rod like this looks like it's Looks like it's really mucky. So it's probably a sand bottom or a muck bottom. Because usually if it's a rocky bottom, you can kind of feel it tapping. But it's very, very soft. All right, we got our first fish. Look at this. Oh my God. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> little tiny guy well at least uh, we can say we're not skunked <laughs> just need a bigger one We're in 20 feet of water right here and I'm just kind of casting and uh, letting it sink and just letting it bounce off the bottom. Oh, well, it's a real tough lake to fish only because it's a lot of water to cover in a kayak and also for being the first time out here. So right now I'm just trolling a rap rapella, rip and wrap. Hopefully we get something active. But the scenery is beautiful. Can't beat the scenery. I'm uh, actually heading into this little channel over here now. I'm probably about probably closer to four miles away from the boat launch. So it is going to be a long trek back to the boat launch if I get tired. Guys, got my first wiper. Yes, sir. Not a big one, but Woo there it is. A lot of small one, but not. This is gonna be lunch, so I do I do have to keep something for lunch. All right, let's go find them again. So basically, I'm just finding them on the live scope. Oh, here comes one. Oh, missed it, missed it. Oh, oh, this is so much fun now. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Small one, but there it is. Found the pattern, guys. But this one is a little smaller. I got enough. Whoop. I got one that's good enough for lunch. This one's uh, real tiny. 
good 10 and a half inches. This will actually be a perfect fillet, but we're gonna let this one go, let them grow. There he goes. Oh yeah, oh man. Yes, got him, got him. Oh, this one's a bigger one. This one's a bigger one. Oh yeah, heck yeah, baby. Oh man. Oh, catfish. Oh, a catfish, no way. Come here, buddy. This is actually a good, good size, good eating size catfish right here. Wow. I didn't expect to get a catfish. Beautiful catfish right here. Beautiful channel. Wow, beautiful fish. Thinking. No, I'm gonna let this one go. I'm here to have a lot of fun, so catching a lot of fish already. Using the live scope. Live scope is a must here. Man, wow. All right, time to give it a kiss. Let it go. Oh, I nibbled. There we go. Got him. Got him. Oh, a crappie. Look at this. Nice. Mixed bag so far. Look at that 10-inch crappie. Beautiful. Man. This one will go too. Thanks for the fight. Oh, there he goes. What is it? Another crappie. <laughs> Gotta get away from these crappies. These are... There's no size limit on these, but... Look at that. Need a bigger one. Need a slab. Oh, drums. <laughs> What a fish, right here, sheep's head. Oh yeah, there he goes. Wiper, baby, wiper, found him. Not super huge, but it'll do. There it is. And the best way to tell is the three stripes going down. You can see the one, two, and three. Got three stripes going down. Then the tongue, you feel two patches. Yeah. When they're small like this, it's kind of harder to fill them, but yeah, you can kind of fill the two patches. So there it is. Bam, beautiful. Finally. Oh, I got a bite ready. There he goes. Got another one. Oh, crappie. Good size crappie. Look at that. Not a bad size crappie. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is this? Oh, another wiper. Yeah, yeah. There it is, guys. Beautiful fish. There it goes. Oh, feisty one. Oh, 
don't want. Ooh, beautiful fish. This one's a little bit smaller, so we're gonna let this one go. Ooh, nice one. Bam, right here, you guys. Not a bad looking wiper. Well, I hope you guys liked this episode. It was a very tough episode. I mean, it took me forever to find the fish, and it was just, uh, was just a hard time to get in them. And then at the last uh, few hours here, finally got a, got onto a school of them right under the bridge, and the, they were actively coasting back and forth, back and forth. And it took me a little bit to figure out what they want, too. And it's just a basic split shot with hook was the ticket. I tried hair jigs, they would were, they were bite, but it was always short strikes. I tried flies, they didn't, they didn't care for it but they wanted that live minnow. Just a size one or just a size four come and got to hook. One split shot, about, about 12 to 16 inches, and then, and then a fat head. And that seems to be the only thing that they wanted, so. But yeah, got a little mini stringer, probably about seven to eight wipers here. I released probably another 40 of them, but uh, I don't really need that many. And plus they were a little bit smaller. They're all under 10, 11 inches. I only kept the uh, ones that were 12, 12, 13 inches. And then one uh, 10 and a half or 11 inch crappie. And I'm gonna cut them up tonight and uh, make some fish fry tonight. A lot of people think that I'm crazy for being out here, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm enjoying this. Hey, but until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. As always, Follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen. Catch you guys later.